Hey, welcome back to a Pop Gaming's Tip of the Week. I'm Fallen Frog. Uh, this week, I wanted to help out a user on Twitter, who I will give credit, Alahan2928802. And he just asked me last week, hey, I tried plugging my HDPVR rocket into my Xbox One, but it just goes blue. I think it might be the drivers, so how do I update them? That's something I haven't tackled yet, but it's something that you probably need to know should an issue ever arise. As you know, a few weeks ago I did a video about AVG's antivirus software. There was an update put out and it just kind of conflicted with Hapog's firmware for the HD PVR. So some users were having blue screens. That's what was happening to Alejandro. But I wanted to uh, go ahead and talk about how to, um, how to update the driver should you need to do that uh, for your HD PVR. If you've never updated a driver before, it can sound like a daunting task, but it's really not that hard. It's not that complicated. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. So I'm using Windows 10. It has the handy search bar here. You can type into the search bar or you can just click on the Windows icon. You can right click this as well and bring up a bunch of different options. What we're going to be looking for is the device manager, which is located in your control panel. Now in Windows 10, you can, if you right click your Windows icon, you can go right to device manager here. Older operating systems though, like, you know, Windows XP, Windows 7, 8, uh, you'll probably have to use the search function. So I've got two windows open here. I've got device manager and I've got control panel here in the back. If you're not on Windows 10 and you can't just right click and go right to the device manager, you can use the search function, type in device manager. Once you type in DEV, it should pop up. Otherwise, you can just go through the control panel as well. Just click on hardware and sound within the control panel. Uh, and that's going to bring up a bunch of options here. Devices and printers, autoplay, sound. Device Manager is what we're looking for. That's where you're going to update your drivers. So just go ahead and click on that. This is where you can see all the devices that are installed on your computer that your computer is using. Keyboards, mice, monitors, all the different hardware that's attached to your computer. That includes your HD PVR. Now I know in Alejandro's case, he's using the HD PVR Rocket and he's just recording on his Xbox One. He's not using a laptop or a PC connected to it. So if you need to update the drivers on your Rocket as well, you're going to want to go ahead and connect that to your PC. Just plug that into the computer's USB port uh, and then load up your device manager. And then we need to go to the sound, video, and game controllers tab. You can click the little arrow to see the drop down of all the devices you have that fit that category. And that's where your HD PVR is going to be located. So I've got the HD PVR 60 here uh, with my webcam and my microphone and things like that. Uh, what we're going to do is just right click on your HD PVR. And if you go into the properties, this is where you can actually see what driver you have. You also have some options to update the driver from there as well. A lot of this information you're probably not going to use. You're probably just going to want to go into update. Before you can actually update the drivers, you have to find the drivers. You have to find the newer versions of those drivers. Let's just do an automatic search, and it will search your computer. It'll also do a web search as well. Now, I've already got the latest drivers installed. Uh, if your drivers are up to date, but you're still having issues, another thing you can do is actually do a fresh install, so you can uninstall the device. And then there's a box that you can check to delete all the driver information. So this will delete all the previous driver information that you have. You can check that box and then once you hit uninstall, it's going to delete all those previous drivers and then you can just do a fresh install with the latest batch. You may come into an issue where you need to update the drivers for your camera or your microphone or you know even your keyboard or anything like that. So uh, you can go to device manager to do that as well. Once you've got the drivers uninstalled, you can of course plug in your HD PVR again and re-download your drivers, reinstall them from there. Uh, if you need to get the latest version of the drivers, if you don't have those on your PC, you can of course go to Hapog's website and go to the support tab uh, where you can select the HD PVR model that you're using and then you can get the and then you can get the updated drivers from here. So you'll see the second tab, HD PVR 60 firmware and drivers. Do take a note that this driver is also included as part of all Hapog capture installations. So if you just go to hapog.com forward slash capture, download the latest version of a pod capture, install that, and that's going to update your drivers as well. So yeah, Hapog Capture makes it easy, but I wanted to show you guys the control panel method as well, uh, because if you go through control panel and then go into your device manager, you can update the drivers from there for your HD PVR, but you can also update the drivers for, your, you know, other accessories that are connected to your computer. But as always, thanks for watching the video today. If you guys have any other questions or comments, you can hit, hit me up directly, or you can leave those down in the comments section. We'll be happy to get back to you. Uh, so thanks for watching, and we will see you next week.